India's economic growth story is no more a secret. It has not just emerged resilient in the grim COVID times, but is projected to grow fastest among the major economies of the world. Recently, the IMF Managing Director's statement that India is a bright spot in dark horizon has substantiated Delhi's economic decisions and has proven as a testimony to India's growing economic strength. A recession looms and is expected to have a global impact, from major developed economies to those just emerging. The annual conference of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank featured many discussions about the state of the world economy. With the Russia-Ukraine crisis escalating to almost nuclear threats, oil prices spiking the world over, and general slowdown in consumption patterns, coupled with global high inflation, the mood was grim at this year's IMF meet, with fears of a recession looming large. However, amidst this gloom and doom, the IMF reserves special praise for India. India deserves to be called a bright spot on this otherwise darker horizon uh, because uh, it has uh, been a, a fast-growing economy even during these uh, difficult times. But most importantly, this growth is underpinned by structural reforms. India's path to a strong economic model to be emulated by the world has not been an easy one. Painstaking groundwork was implemented on a mission mode to make a large part of the population digitally compliant. The DBT, or Direct Benefit Transfer Scheme, which transfers government funds directly to beneficiaries without any interference from middlemen, also was a topic of praise by the IMF, calling it a logistical marvel. If I look at the case of India, um, it, it is actually quite impressive. In fact, uh, just because of the sheer size of the country, it's, it's a logistical marvel how uh, these programs that uh, seek to help uh, people who are at low income levels reach literally hundreds of millions of people. In contrast to this success story of Digital India, we look at the German finance minister's recent comments when asked to conduct a similar exercise in his country. Prominent Twitter users were aghast that Germany had difficulty matching bank accounts with beneficiaries and that a process like India's DBT could take almost 18 months. One sector, however, that remains a worry for India is the dollar to rupee exchange rate. With the rupee breaching 82 rupees to a dollar, Headlines across the Indian media landscape predict a doomsday scenario for the Indian rupee. However, if we dig a little deeper into the data behind the exchange rate fluctuation, we see that in 2022, the rupee depreciation has been a lot less than other Asian currencies, despite an increasing crude oil bill. Indian Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman reiterated this fact on her recent trip to Washington, D.C. Let's listen in. I think Indian rupee has performed much better than many other emerging market currencies. But I think the efforts are by the RBI more towards maintaining a certain, um, let's say, more towards seeing that there are too much, there are not too much of volatility. It is not too intervene in the market to fix the value of rupee. According to the World Economic Outlook published by the International Monetary Fund, India is projected to surpass Germany to become the fourth largest economy by financial year 2027. It also says that India would expand faster than Japan by financial year 2028. Political stability and attractiveness of the Indian economy as an investment destination for foreign multinationals can continue to drive structural flows into the country via foreign direct investment. This will further strengthen the country's strong economic foundation. While the world was still rebuilding from the COVID-19 pandemic and its aftershocks, India took a massive leap on the economic front when it recently surpassed the United Kingdom in terms of nominal GDP. 
Observers say that a tripartite foundation consisting of a resolute political will to make difficult decisions for the greater good, swift implementation of fiscal objectives, and a development strategy based on science and technology has yielded rich dividends for the country. As countries brace for economic headwinds, the Indian growth story continues to march on. As the IMF put it, India remains a bright spot in a dark horizon.